Hillel, we're reading Derek Bell's Faces at the Bottom of the Well, and we're <coughs> reading the section called Space Traders, where aliens come and they want to trade the United States all the materials it needs to continue its reign as an empire or just to survive as a nation, but they want all the black bodies in the, in the society. 6 January. Although the television evangelists of America also owned jets, they understood that their power lay less in, their, in these perks of the wealthy than in their own ability to manipulate their TV congregation's religious feelings. So after a lengthy conference call, they announced a massive evangelical rally in the Houston Astrodome, which would be televised over their religious cable network. They went all out. The trade offer was the evangelists' chance to rebuild their prestige and fortunes neither of which had recovered from the Jim and Tammy Baker and the Jim, Jimmy Swaggart scandal. They would achieve this much-desired goal by playing on rather than trying to change the strongly racist views of their mostly working-class television audiences. True, some of the preachers had a substantial black following, but evangelical support for the trade would not be an evangelic, evangelist decision. Rather, these media messiahs heralded it as God's will. The space traders were, according to the televised gospel, bringing America's blessings earned by their listeners and viewers. Faithful dedication to freedom, liberty, and God's word. Not only would rejection of these blessings from space be wrong, so the preachers exhorted, it would be blasphemous. It was God's will that all Americans enjoy a tax-free year, a, clean up, a cleaned-up environment for years to come, and cheap heating forever. True, a sacrifice was required if they were to obtain God's bounty, a painful sacrifice. But here, too, God was testing Americans, his chosen people to ensure that they were worthy of his bounty, deserving of his love. Each preacher drew on scripture torturously interpreting, interpreted to support these statements. A ministry of music quartet, four of the most popular television evangelists, all speaking in careful cadences like a white rap group, preached a major sermon. It whipped the crowd into a delirium of religious feeling, making them re receptive both to the financial appeals, which raised millions, and to the rally's grand finale, a sober tableau of black people marching stoically into the space traders' ships, which here resembled ancient sacrificial altars. Try as they might, the producers of the pageant had had a hard time finding black people willing to act out roles they might soon be forced to experience. But a few blacks were glad to be paid handsomely for walking silently across the stage. These few were easily supplemented by the many whites eager to dog on blackface. The rally was a great success, despite the all-out efforts of the media to condemn this sacrilege of all that is truly holy. That night, millions of messages, all urging acceptance of the space traders offer, deluged the President and Congress. 7 January, groups supporting the space traders' proposition had from the beginning taken seriously Black's charges that acceptance of it would violate the Constitution's most basic protections. Act swiftly, acting swiftly and with full cooperation of the states, they had set in motion the steps necessary to convene a constitutional convention in Philadelphia. Of course, groaned Golightly when he heard of it. And there on this day, on the site of the original constitutional convention, Delegates chosen in accordance with Article 5 of the Constitution by the state's legislature quickly drafted and by a substantial majority passed the 27th Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. It declared, without regard to the language or interpretation previously given in any other provision of this document, every United States citizen is subject at the call of Congress to select for special service for periods necessary to protect domestic interests and international deeds. The amendment was scheduled for ratification by the states on 15 January in a national referendum. It ratified the amendment would validate amendments 
to existing selective service laws authorizing the induction of all blacks into special service for transportation under the terms of the space traders offer. And that's how quick it is to get rid of a population you don't want using the law and the courts and the legal and political process. And that's why the legal and political process is important. And you should use it if you can. And all those people who said, ah, I don't care about politics, be very careful. Because you're, you're about to find out what could be done with raw politics. With no backstop, no gaps, no force inside the political process that is pushing it one way. Because if you don't want to get involved in pushing it one way, people who do get involved are going to push it the other, and they have the military at their disposal. So, there you go. Until next time, thank you for your support. Take care of your mind, take care of your body, and be safe.